Okay, so we have finished up the mirror cell, or at least framing it up, getting it ready to be either powder coated or if you're going to paint yours, you'll want to paint it. Um, next on the list, what I like to do is uh, I want to get the rest of my wood pieces cut and ready to go. And then from here, we would be going into the finishing room where it's going to be time to stain, finish, however you want to do that with your scope. So some of the wood pieces I still have to make is we still have to make the, uh, the ground board for the rocker box to rest on. That's going to be a you know relatively straightforward round piece of wood, or you could make it triangular just depending on your needs. We'll talk about that then. The other thing we do have to make for this particular scope, it's a 16 inch, so I like to have wheelbarrow handles. So I make those in-house, of course. And then, of course, we have to do the uh, mirror box cover, which again, another round piece of wood. And uh, I make it out of half inch. And what I'm going to do is we measure the opening that we've cut on top of the mirror box. After we have that measurement, which on my 16 inch is 17 inches, we're going to take our compass again, and we're going to make this. We know that the major part of the circle has to be over 17 inches because we don't want to fall inside. So we can make it 18 inches, but that's going to give us a half inch on each side whenever we nest that mirror box cover down in. So I actually like to make it a little bit thinner. You don't need really any more than a quarter of an inch. So whenever I set my compass, I'm going to set it to eight and three quarters. So that's where I will set it. And whenever I make my divot, I like to make it really, really well because this is where ultimately my router is going to go whenever I do my circle cutting for the inside part of it. For the outside, I'm going to first strike my line. Remember, on the outside of this cover, well, a few things I'll point out. One, you don't have to make this from expensive plywood or expensive wood. Really, it's just a cover. You can make it from MDF. Just make sure you seal it really well because it will be exposed to the elements. Um, just because, you know, our clients pay for something and they want it to match and look nice, I'm going to go ahead and match it to the rest of the scope. But if a person just wanted to use a piece of quarter inch MDF, you could do that and get away with it just fine. So that's one. Two, the circle itself, on the outside at least, doesn't have to be true round. What I mean to say is you could easily use a jigsaw to cut that thing. Um, I'm actually going to cut the outside part of the circle on the bandsaw, just again because of its efficiency, and that's a less expensive way than going through, you know, ultimately router bits. Now the inside of the circle, that's a, that's a different story. The way I make the mirror box cover, I like it to nest down into that hole on top of the mirror box. So for the inside, I am actually going to put a router bit in and I am going to basically route a small channel around the edge to be perfectly 17 inches. And I don't know if you recall, but whenever we built the mirror box, we did it 17 inch opening and then we went over to the um, oscillating sander and we widened that just a fraction, maybe a 16th to an eighth of an inch. That's going to be perfect whenever we route the inside of this mirror box cover out to 17 inches. It's going to fit right down in there. You don't need any type of magnetic shut or anything like that and it'll work out just perfectly. So we struck our line. Now what I'm going to do is basically rough cut this uh, on, the jigs on the jigsaw just so it's small enough I can take it over the bandsaw very easily. So I've got everything clamped down here. I'm just going to cut out kind of a square. So now I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and cut my circle, which you've seen me do several times before. So trust me, that's what I'm doing. And uh, when we come back, I will go over routing the inside channel. Okay, 
Back to the mirror box cover. So, as I said, I cut out my, my circle that's going to fit over the hole, over the hole cutout on the mirror box. Now what I need to do is drill the quarter inch hole in the middle because I'm going to use my circle cutting jig that I made for the router. So I just, again, use a couple speed squares to try to keep myself as vertical as possible. I've got that divot that I had left with my compass. So now I have my hole. Now I will usually pick my best side, of course, to be the top. And if I had any tear on the sides, that would be the side I use for underneath. Of course, we'll have a knob or something that goes in the middle. So I've got my circle cutting jig set up. We want to make sure that our cut because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plunge router to go down about this is a half inch piece of plywood so I want to go down about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to route a channel all along the outside of the circle so what we need to do measurement wise is make sure that from the center of our pivot bolt to the inside of the router bit we want to make sure that's 17 inches which I've already done so I'm going to get right to it if I have safety glasses And we're finished with that cut. Pull off the circle cutting jig. And there we have it. Let the camera automatically refocus. You can see I've got enough. It's just going to be perfect for catching the inside of the top of the mirror box. And uh, what we'll do next is just kind of break this edge with uh, you can do it with a roundover bit on the router table, or you can just take a sander, just kind of break it. I'll, I'll probably just do it with a sander, and uh, we'll sand it down, and we'll be ready to go.